Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about verified commits in GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket, doesn't really matter where it is. If you look at my commit history, you can see some of the commits are verified, some of the commits are not verified. So how to actually configure it to be able to see this verified signature right there. So if I click here, you can see it's saying that this commit was signed with the committer's verified signature. So meaning that the person who is claiming for in my case, this is this is me, right? So I'm claiming to be me. So how do I verify it using the signature? Why do you actually need it? It's because someone could let's say fabricate my profile picture, maybe the email and maybe the profile name something RR blah blah just to fake information, right? This is very easy to to basically miss out. Let's say some fake person is trying to be me, like faking my information. So this is to prevent such kinds of things. So this actually ensures that I am the one who actually did the commit. In my case, I'm using private and public key authentication, right? For my verification. So how to do it? I'm going to be showing you today in this video and uh, follow me along. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and uh, like, comment and share. This is how you can actually support me to grow my channel. All right. So without a further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so I'm going to be demoing how this verified commit works. To do that, I'm going to make a dummy commit. So maybe I'm gonna be changing one-liner. So one-liner I'm gonna say demo the sign commits with, with these keys. So let me make a commit. So git commit minus am a dummy commits to demo the sign or I don't know verified commits something like this I'm gonna call and then I'm going to be pushing these changes so if I just push this change now I pushed the changes you can see committed right now and I can see verified commit so if I do this I can see the fingerprint don't worry just follow me along and if you're on Mac Linux doesn't really matter the concept or the configuration is pretty same so you don't have to worry at all so follow me along and let's jump into this setup setup part all right so now I'm gonna show you how to configure verified commits so to do this, I'm not going to be showing you from my computer because I have got other settings. So I don't necessarily want to show you. What I instead want to do is basically want to run this in a Docker container. From Docker container, I will be making commits to my repository and I will be doing all those setups from within the Docker container. So let's jump in there. First of all, I will basically generate the key pair. So to do that, I will be running this keygen command and t basically the what algorithm you want and b is basically less than 1024 how many bits you want and then c is going to be your email address so in my case this is the my email address so i'm going to be generating this and going to put this in this particular location and no passphrase i don't want to put any password for it let's enter enter so now this is being generated and you can see this is the fingerprint so what does actually fingerprint means so whenever you generate this key pair as you can see this fingerprint is going to be unique meaning that fingerprint like a human being so whenever you generate the key pair this fingerprint should not match with 10 other key pairs that you have generated if they match then there is something wrong okay so let's jump in here because this is where we have the secrets and the one we are interested in basically is this one let me copy okay let me clean this up i'm gonna clone my git repositories so let's say if i go to my git repository here is my repository right and the option i have basically is this so i could say copy this one because i want to do ssh so let's say this one okay so if i run this it's going to deny it look at this it's going to get denied because i do not have the connection established at this point i will copy this public key after that i want to go to my settings 
let me go here and I'm gonna show you step by step so do not worry at all so after that I'm gonna click on this new key and the one I want for my authentication is this one this is for signing key we will actually touch both of these today so first of all I want to do this so let's say docker I will call it docker container because I come from docker container basically so then going to add this one and the verification code just a sec I will be passing the code right there okay so it seems like this is good right so docker container right now it says it never used look at this very carefully never used so we gonna use it how let's say this time if I want to do this you can see I was able to clone the repository tech with Pfizer and this time if I come here and refresh the page you are going to see this last use within the last week so basically we just used it a couple of seconds before so you already know another thing you can do SSH and then V for Barbos you can actually do this git so git hub.com if I do this I would be able to access it you can say hey Vardapur you have successfully authenticated this key we have generated right here you never ever share this key with anyone this is the private key if you share it with anyone it means that your secrets are compromised so we're gonna create one more and this time we're gonna call it signing key so this signing key I'm going to be calling docker container let's say verified commits this is something I'm gonna call I'm going to be copying this particular key and then paste it right here this is for the signing case this is what you need for commits verification so I'm going to be selecting this one and click on this once you have done this it says that key is too short recommends using at least this one so it seems like it doesn't like it right so what we have to do we need to go back and then run this command so key gen and I'm gonna be jumping basically to this one so I'm gonna say 248 in this case let's rewrite overwrite this stuff so I'm gonna say override no passphrase no passphrase okay this time I'm going to be copying this this one remember this one has the different fingerprint this time I'm gonna show you how to verify it okay so what I have to do this time I need to docker container keys I need to delete it I will delete it I will create one more coming back to this let me copy this stuff okay so this time I'm gonna be pasting this stuff right there so this is for the authentication keys and this authentication key is never used so if you do a command is still like VT is going to be authenticated right now you can see tag with Pfizer and git pull if I do this it should work okay up to date it means that this is working second thing we want to do is basically this so I need to do this one more time pasting it right there and I'm gonna say signing key this time I'm gonna say call this one so save it once you have done this you could actually make some changes and start doing the test so before I do that I need to do this git config local you can say global if you want user dot name and mine is going to be this one and if I continue doing this then I'm going to say this let's jump into to this this one email right minus V so this is correct okay let me uh, find the command right here I, because this documentation also has it so I'm going to be writing this in the right here let me remove this and paste it and instead of saying global it doesn't really matter I'm in a docker container so it doesn't really matter but I prefer to put local and now what we have to do git config dash dash local and the, this part we need to do user signing key so you have to say user dash sign and this time the signing key is going to be your pop key so it's basically this one so I could basically copy and paste this right if I do this you are good to go 
with verified commits. So now we are telling that, hey, whenever you sign this commit, you should be using this particular key. The next thing you want to do is basically, this is optional. If you want to do, you can do. So this is, if you don't do this, every time you run your commit to get your commit verified, you need to use this S flag. But instead, we could actually do this for this particular repository. So let me jump in here one more time. I'm going to say local and we're going to set it automatically. So this time let's make some changes. So if we go to, yeah, this is what I want to go. Um, so basically let me clear this up and then this one, readme.md. Let's make some changes. Let's jump. Um, let's make some changes right here. Okay, demo the less signed commits, nothing else I want to change, I want to save it. And if I do this, I can see I have changed it. So here you can do like this, git, this time if I do a git commit, and then a message, very dummy message, um, pushing maybe from docker container, let's call it like this. <laughs> this is a dummy one. So this time if I do a git push, let's see what happens. So it actually did a push. And if I go back to my, to uh, here, and if I come right here, let's see what happened. So this time you can see my commit is verified. And this is pushing from the Docker container. And if you click here, you can see the fingerprint is this. So as I said, fingerprint is unique. I'm gonna show you also since this is the same context, SSH keygen, right and l flag this is what you need and after that you are going to be saying where is your uh, file for this one so this is going to be idrsa so if you do this you can see this is a match with the one you have in the browser so this is a match basically ua at the end ua at the end and this should be similar for the pub as well so now if you have any other key that should not match with the fingerprint so this is how you can verify your git commits. So this is how you can see it. So let's say if you want to see unverified, which is what right now I don't have, you have to do one more thing. So if you go to settings and then click on this and then after that you have to say flag unused, right? This is the one, unsigned commits, right? And if I go back now, you're gonna see that. So let's, let me go back here and if I go right now here, you should be seeing that this is unverified. Okay, so this is how you do the configuration. Hey guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.